Hey everyone, welcome back for another Collider video movie review. This one is for A Wrinkle in Time, yes. directed by Ava DuVernay. It stars Storm Reed as Meg Murray. She's a young girl whose father disappears. She thinks he's long gone, but one day she meets the missus and they give her the opportunity to traverse the universe and attempt to find him. How'd you feel about the story? Yeah, I thought the story didn't quite get there for me. I, I don't want to start off in a negative way already for this review, but I just didn't think the story worked overall for me. I've read the book before. I read it in school. But for me, what Ava DuVernay does in the film, it doesn't quite get there on a number of levels. The acting is great, but the story itself, you're handed a bunch of scenes. People come into this world uh, with no real reason. The boyfriend shows up. Oh, did we know? Did, how does he know her? We don't even know. There's so much things that are presented to us that we just have to accept and go forward and, and I get that we're supposed to look at it with childlike eyes but for me I need a I need a little more depth with these characters a little more connection with these characters so that I could connect to them and follow them through the movie having read the book I would say that imagination quality or at least what the book calls for you to imagine yeah. with this crazy out of this world scenario it felt a little more natural for me to do it when visuals weren't being thrown in my mm -hmm. face because the interpretation that Ava gives me of this story it's beautiful and it has some great messages is, but then there's also blocks that feel like they're missing and yeah. those are the moments that feel like they're calling on me to fill it in and it didn't work it mm. didn't have that quality i didn't i didn't have the backstory and the information and also certain things especially later on in the movie needed explanation yeah. we needed to know why a certain character got from a to b you can't put that on the viewer so right. i was a little disappointed with the fact that this movie feels like set piece, set piece, set piece yeah. with, with kind of black holes in the middle that fell on me to either try to figure out or fill in myself because that didn't work at all. Yeah. With the characters though, I think the characters were elevated as they are probably written in the script mm -hmm. because of the great performances. I love Storm Reid yeah. as Meg Murray, a challenging character to bring to screen where she is not your typical rah-rah noble heroine. She needs, to, she needs to figure out what her flaws are, find out whether she needs to embrace them or shed them, and her back and forth with Mrs. What's It, in particular Reese Witherspoon's character, who is really one of the only people to actually challenge her in her mm -hmm. little core group on this journey. I love their back and forth. Yeah, I think the acting overall was fantastic, and a lot of these actors are asked to do different types of their parts. Do you know what I'm saying? Different emotional uh, parts, uh, different emotional takes on their parts, and that I really enjoyed. That showed the uh, amount of acting that's going on here and the expertise that's going on with these. Storm Reid is basically announcing herself as a young actress that's going to be cast in numerous things going forward. The guy who plays Michael Wallace, is that what it is? Uh, Charles, Charles Wallace. Wallace. Charles Wallace, he's fantastic. Charles Wallace, is fantastic. Derek McCabe. Derek McCabe is fantastic. Chris Pine does some great work mm -hmm. here. Gugu Mbatha Raw does some great work here. So for me, that's what saves the film, is the emotional life that these actors brought to every one of their characters and that helps me in the emotional moments because as as uh, kind of choppy as this feels like th the film is the emotional moments actually work because of the commitment from the actors to mm -hmm. live the emotional lives that are going on in those scenes. Some moments definitely work better than yeah. others. And when I think about the approach that they took to the story, what comes to mind is this movie is filled with wonderful messages and yeah. messages that are well worth carrying with you well after the movie is over. Part of my problem with it is it's one thing to have a character state a message. Mm -hmm. It's another to have that character let it sink in for you based on right. their experience learning about that message and I think that's a major disconnect here similarly with the visuals it's one thing to paint a pretty picture and say "Ooh, look at the colors and then it's a completely different thing to make you feel like you're being transported into that world like yep. you're physically standing there and you see the layers and the depth and I think that some of the visual effects miss the mark in that respect oh really oh I, I felt the visuals were incredible throughout the whole film I think when people talk about Ava DuVernay possibly directing a superhero film the Visuals of this movie certainly work in her favor. Obviously, you want to look at Selma and you want to look at the 13th. Those are real calling cards for her to direct a feature, uh, a superhero film. But the, the story itself is where this film suffers, but the visuals are not. All right, we're going to roll into scores right now. Okay. I'll jump in first, surprisingly. I'm going to give it <laughs> a 5 out of 10. The things that I liked most about this movie were the performances. I love the costume design. Mm -hmm. I think that worked a lot better than some of the visual effects that didn't sit well with me. But 
a lot of the a lot of the things that I'm thinking so positively about in this movie is just the nature of taking risks. And admittedly, I know it might sound like an excuse for a movie like this, but if we don't take risks with our stories and also especially with fantasy sci-fi, mm -hmm. things that are so heavily reliant on imagination, we're going to wind up boxing ourselves into the same stories and the same types of characters over and over. And the fact that I think those kinds of ideas worked well in compartmentalized versions, that made me appreciate certain scenes, whereas the big flaw for me is just the movie overall yeah. and how it all came together. And I don't think the climax in the movie worked as well as it did in the book. Yeah, I agree with you. I give it a five as well. I think the acting is what really saves this movie and some of the visuals. You get the idea that what Ava DuVernay is trying to do with this movie, you get where she wants to go. The message is very powerful message, which I really appreciated. But the thing is, the message is so beaten over your head about it that we don't get the natural organic progression to that message that lets us feel the emotion of the message when it comes across story. Reed's face. So for me, that's the thing that's missing from this movie. And I think a little more time in the story development, a little more time in some of the dialogue between the scenes to lay the groundwork would have been fantastic and would have jettisoned this up to an eight or a nine. All right. Those are our thoughts on A Wrinkle in Time. When you catch the movie this weekend, hit that comment section below. Put your thoughts right there. And as always, please like and share this video. Keep an eye on the Collider Video YouTube channel for more movie reviews.